Hey guys, it's Bailey, and today we are doing the bare minimum workout. So what that means is that it's the least amount of effort that you need to do to still help you look good naked and get you those results. Let's get started holding on to a pair of light weights. If you don't have weights at home, just use your own arm resistance. So let's get started with our offering. So this is a traditional Pilates exercise. We really wanna brace our core. We're going to reach the arms forward, feeling those biceps open to the side, bring them in and squeeze. Reach, open, close, and bend. So basically this one's called the offering. And I have a feeling it was supposed to be more of a like traditional offering type exercise, but I like to pretend that I have two trays of margaritas and I'm walking around a party going, would you like some? Oh, sorry, no, they're all mine. I'm pulling them back in. So that's what you can pretend as well. Good, so really reach, open, close, pull it in. You'll feel those biceps starting to burn. Good, really think of pushing, opening, then pulling the arms together and bringing them in by your side, squeezing your abs. So this one's working all the biceps, shoulders, and the core. We're gonna hold the next one out, flipping the palms forward, little tiny circles. This is one where one kilo weights can feel like a hundred kilos. Keep reaching those fingertips long, feeling those shoulders. Let's reverse. Keep squeezing those abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach and hold. Now let's flip the palms, pull the arms in by the side. Reach and pull. So you can do this with single arms too, reaching and pulling in. If your arms start to get tired, really think like you're reaching for something heavy and pulling it in, flexing your biceps. Reach, pull. Good work, you should feel those guns. Let's go back to both arms. Four more. Three, two, last one. Little pulses here, really flex those biceps. Show me your gun. You wanna hover the elbows just out to the side of the waist. Good work, just breathing through it. Remember, you can always drop the weights if this gets too heavy. Little pulses, elbows out to the side, fighting gravity. Good, five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, take a nice big shoulder roll here. We'll put the weights down towards the front of our mat. And then we're just going to angle ourselves sideways into a tabletop position. Let's take a deep breath in first, just stretching those shoulders. Good, and then coming forward to our tabletop. So we've really worked our shoulders and biceps. Let's work our triceps now. Coming into a neutral spine, so first doing a couple of cat cows to move the spine through flexion and extension. This should feel really, really nice. It takes so much core strength to hold yourself in that kneeling position. So coming to our neutral spine, somewhere between our flexion and extension, where you just have the natural curves of the spine present. Let's pull our belly button back to our spine and then come into some tricep push-ups here. 
tapping those elbows down, pressing up. So you want to have a 90 degree bend through the arm and really pressing your hands into the mat nice and wide. Good, you should feel the backs of the arms starting to work here. This is such a good workout because if you're not feeling it, like feeling working out or going to the gym, you can just do it in the comfort of your own home and know that you'll still get results and feel good about it. Good, let's add on. We're going to lift, tuck those toes, lift into our high plank, top, and tap. Lift, lift, tap, and tap. Good, so we're starting to activate our core really strong now. And tap, lift, tap, and tap. Good, press into those palms, squeeze your abs lower. Two more. We're gonna hold this next one in our high plank. We have to hold it for 10 seconds. It's such an effective move for pulling in those abdominal muscles and giving us a nice flat tummy. So if we wanna look good naked with minimal effort, 10 seconds of planking will do it. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop those knees. Now 10 little pulses into our triceps, really finishing off that burn. I lied, let's do 10 more. Feels so good. Sexy tank top arm. Three, two, and one, beautiful work you guys. From here, just take a little child's pose, rounding the spine. Press your fingertips into the mat for a nice shoulder stretch. And then coming back. From here, grab one of our weights, and we're going to bring our knees back, so we're in a bit of a half plank. We're just going to rotate open, and then as we come forward, lower back to the mat. Rotate open, and lower down. Good, so we're starting to warm up our obliques and get some nice rotation through the spine. You could do this in a full plank as well, but I would say start with the knee variation, just focusing on really twisting, unless you're doing a lot of Pilates. So today we'll keep our knees on the mat, for minimal effort, but if you want maximal effort, lift them. <laughs> Two more. Last one, beautiful, back through center, planting that palm other side. Twist and lower down. Really try to drop the hips in that half plank position. Rotating through the spine, that gives us those sexy obliques that help to cinch the waist, give you that hourglass look. Your triceps will be burning on the support arm too. Again, you could do it in your plank. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, take that nice child's pose. All right, what workout would be complete without a set of donkey kicks? We have to take the weight behind our leg and we're gonna start working our tushy. You can always do these exercises without a weight as well. But I like to add a little bit of resistance just to get that little extra toning. So we're lifting the knee, flexing the foot like we're stamping on the ceiling, really squeezing 
our butt cheek and then lowering down. Trying to maintain that nice neutral spine. This position really works our abs. It's hard to stabilize the pelvis in this neutral position. So we're just getting a little bonus ab work. Hold it, squeezing that right butt cheek, little pulses. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Give your bum a little tap, then we'll go right to the other side. Back into our tabletop. You could do this from your forearms too, if you have um, sensitive wrists. Really lift and squeeze. Get a little higher. Keep pulling your belly button into your spine. Good form. Push through that heel. Hold the next one, little pulses. Pressing that heel up to the ceiling. Good, I feel my booty burn. What gets us those Pilates results? Good, we have five, four, three, two. And one. Let's grab that weight and put it down at the front of our mat. From here, let's come to sit on our tailbone. We're going to do a roll down here. So pull your belly button back to your spine, reach the arms forward, and then slowly one vertebrae at a time, lowering down to the mat. Good, beautiful. Take a nice stretch, breathe in. And exhale, bring those arms back down by your side and then pressing your heels into the mat. Let's start to lift our glutes. Our feet are hip distance apart. Pressing into your heels, squeeze your butt cheeks and tap. Squeeze and tap. Now you never want to fully relax. You want to keep the work in your glutes. So it's a little hover. If it helps to keep your hand underneath so you know where to lift, that's sometimes a good uh, tip to get some feedback as to how low you're going. Squeeze those butt cheeks to get nice and high at the top. Tap and lower. If your balance is pretty good, you could bring those arms up overhead so that we're not pressing into our hands because sometimes that's a little cheap to get higher. Just make sure we're working those bums. cheeks together, then thrusting the hips. Let's bring our arms down by our side for those last pulses, really squeezing those glutes together. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one, lowering down. 
good. Let's come into some abdominals here. Lifting one leg at a time up into our tabletop. Let's start to tap the toes down. So you really want to focus on keeping your hips stable here. Starting to activate through those low abdominals. Keep pulling your belly button back to your spine. Making sure you're not popping out at the ribs. Keeping those abdominals engaged. If it feels okay, bringing yourself up into your ab curl. Really squeeze those abdominals. And you can start to lengthen the legs a little bit lower once you get that nice stability. Really feeling those low abs. Here we'll come into some bicycles. So just twisting, working our obliques. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Cinching our waist. Good, four more, three, two, and one. Good, give yourself a little hug. Just circling those knees around in the sockets, massaging through your low back and hips. And the other way. Should feel really nice. Then grabbing a hold of your shins, little hug. Let's rock ourselves up to seated. Take a deep breath here. And exhale. Then just reaching your arms up overhead, bringing them to heart center. And then giving yourself a round of applause. Great job, you guys. That's the perfect workout that you can really get results from without even having to stand. Make sure you subscribe because we do new workouts every week and I'll see you soon.